Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to replay Slight Increase. Although it's technically not the same URL, I guess, because this one says LB Edition. This test chamber involves something I discovered while messing around with Repulsion Gel. Difficulty Intermediate, I guess. I don't effing know. Congratulations, LB, you broke my test chamber. It seems like I wasn't clear on what I told you to do on your last video on YouTube, so let's try this again. I took in the liberty... Wait, you took in the liberty? I think you mean you took the liberty. Uh, fixing all the problems in the old version of this test chamber, so that there are only the ways I want you to possibly solve the puzzle. By the way, you still need to replace your portals if the repulsion gel starts to fling in all directions. Good luck. Alright. Well, let's get to it, then. Right, that button's still up there. Blah da blah. Blah da blah. That still does that. Gotcha. There's that. Alright, it does do a, a second shot. Okay. Ta-da! Still works. Still works. Yeah, you, uh, might wanna... might wanna reconsider, my friend. Right, so. Let's figure out what maybe we're supposed to do, perhaps. I think I know what it is. I think I have to do something... akin to a recent Bin 77 map. Ah, uh, sure, that's good enough. So... We do our double bounce. Oh, right, that's not even... We wanna do that. Yeah, that's exactly what I think we're supposed to do. Yes, and again, it still doesn't make much sense to me. Like, I know that there's a minimum velocity for gel, but I think- I think it's weird the way the game works like that. Because what's happening... Is that when you hit the gel, normally you're supposed to be sent back down with the exact same velocity that you hit it with. But because you're, like, coming up and slowing down on your arc there, because of gravity, it actually means that you're below the minimum speed that the gel sets you at, so the gel actually gives you more speed than you should have coming back down. So it gives you an extra boost of height. Which, as I've said, is actually not how physics is supposed to work, but it's just a quirk of the gel in this game particularly. So yeah, we got our cube now. Now what to do with it? What to do, what to do. I suppose put it here, right? So we don't need it over there? Yes. Okay, so then... So then... I don't know, let's- let's do this. What's the worst that could happen? I am not fully convinced that that would work. Let's, uh, let's put that right about there, perhaps. And we'll- we'll try some stuff. We'll try things. Stuff and things. There we go. And then... Gosh, will this even work the way I'm hoping it will? Oh, that's- that's not at all what I wanted. Well, crap. <laughs> hmm. That's okay, we can readjust. Just like Mr. Mushroom. I don't even know how many of you will get the reference I just made. I know Hanky Mueller might get the reference. I don't know how much of Hollow Knight he's played, though. Oh, I just realized I'm also making this way harder than it needs to be, because what I could do... For- for demonstration purposes... Let me just... Here. Uh. Ah. There we go. For demonstration purposes... What I could be doing is I could've just left the cube... Like, there, for instance, and then done this. Yeah, I'm making this way harder than it needs to be. <laughs> ah, good old overcomplication. Right. I believe now, our goal is to just do this. Yeah! Excellent. That has got to be the right way to do it. I hope. Alright. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye! By the way, Odyssey Cat. Uh, a little bit too simple for my liking. But, nice work. Goodbye!